It's Friday and you know the drill time to catch up with what is happening in the world of sports. My name is Nashon Owano and this is Metropole Sports Center. The following are just some of the things that you're going to be looking at in the show today. We are going to be talking about the Kenya Premier League. We are going to make sense of some of the games that were played in the past few days. Apart from that, we are going to be shedding a spotlight into the ongoing Olympic Games where Kenya had a terrible start. Not quite a performance that many people had expected but we are definitely hoping that things are going to look up once the athletics completely start. Word out there is that for Kenya Olympics actually starts when uh, atle at athletes uh, start competing in that particular tournament. Now the following are just some of the things that you need to know about the Kenya Premier League. Some of the fixture scores of some of the games that were played, that is the Kenya, in the Kenya Premier League. Western Steamer versus Vihiga United. The game ended 2-0 in favor of Vihiga United. Karyobangi Sharks versus KCB. The game ended 3-0 in favor of KCB. And Sofa Parker versus Kakamega Homeboys. The game ended 2-0 one in favor of Kakamega Homeboys. Bandari versus Poster Rangers. The game ended 1-0 in favor of Bandari. Zoya Sugar versus AFC Leopards. The game ended 8-2. Two. Um, Wazito FC versus Madare United. The game ended 2-1. I'm going to be joined by Ronald Okoth, who's the founder of RO Sports Academy. Later on in the show, we are going to be making sense of the Kenya Premier League. Specifically, I'll be interested to understand what is happening at Sofa Parker and whether he thinks his former team is going to improve later on in the Kenya Premier League. Apart from that, the major tournament that was taking place was the Sekafa and 23 by the emerging stars and the following is just how uh, that particular tournament went on. Kenya was eliminated from the competition courtesy of a post-match penalty. They lost 4-2 to Burundi and uh, Kenya versus Sudan. The game ended 1-0. This basically gave them the opportunity to go into the semi-finals of the Sekafa tournament. Now, the game has been pitched. That is the Sekafa finals, which is going to be pitting our neighbors at Tanzania against the Burundi team. Interesting to see which team is going to come on top uh, of that uh, particular fixture. Away from that, I had mentioned that the ongoing Olympics at Tokyo, Japan have had their fair share of challenges this past week. Uh, Simone Biles uh, stepping out of the gymnastics competition, citing mental health issues. We are going to be talking about that later on in the show with the former athlete Ronald Okoth is going to be painting for us the picture in terms of what, uh, how, why it is important to consider the mental health of at least athletes in any particular competition. In terms of uh, the games that were played, that is the Shuja team. The following is just the fixture score on how the Shuja team performed at the Olympics. That is uh, Kenya versus United States. That particular game ended 19-4. Kenya versus South Africa, the game ended 5-14 and Kenya versus Japan the game ended 21-7 and Kenya versus Ireland, the game ended 22-0. Basically means that in this year's Tokyo Olympics, Kenya only managed to win two uh, games, which uh, is, is a question that you're going to be having in terms of what is going on. Uh, already, uh, the key player that is the captain, Andrew Omonde, played his eventual last Olympic uh, for for the nation, donning the national colors. What next for the team that is led by Innocent Simiu, as is properly known in the corridors of, of, of sports, is Namco. So you're going to be talking about that and uh, much more. Well, that particular story by the all of the Olympic wraps up the first part of the show. We are taking a short commercial break. After the break, as I mentioned, I'm going to be joined by Ronald Okoth, who's the founder of RO Sports Academy. Apart from that, he is a former sofa packer player he's going to be making help is going to be helping us make a sense of the olympics and the kenya premier league see you after the break <laughs> 